got so snowballed ahead. And we already know that she does massive. That's so true. Exactly, massive damage, but from. So you want to see her do massive damage from behind is what you're saying? Well, I just want to see what happens. It happens. And unfortunately, <laughs> I have to make, you know, the, the prediction that I kind of feel like China are the heavy favorites coming in, holding number one. But we'll see, maybe, maybe the Zoe curse holds true. Maybe she goes massive and they take down China two times. We will have to see game six. As we're moving out of the rift, LPL versus the I mean, it could be the case that maybe you're just trying to see if 957 has actually practiced the champion. And with that combo, Woo! I'd say yes. I'd say yes, indeed. And that's going to be MLXG coming in as well. The Fort Spikes to get the kill for himself. Both summoners now used to that top side of Vert. As we see 957 take control, stand aside, knock up. They could have layered that CC a little bit better. Dude's going to go in hard to make the Ignite count. And he gets himself out with a flash. This is going to be slow now as soon as that overdrive wears off. He is crippled in movement speed, but BRTT repositioned to get him out safe. Beautifully done by Brazil. Okay. Right in on Tomeko, they say, we'll just bop him. Love tap there. Dude wants to get out of this one as the teleport comes in from 957. He will actually continue it and throws down the forge. That's going to be a kill on Dude. Double Woo. knock up there. BRTT forced to flash to get out with his life, but it's an AOE <laughs> and it spans the length of the screen. And it keeps going. Great. Oh my word, Kami going down. I don't find I don't see him coming out of this one alive. Who is gonna get the kill? He pops back a quick auto from CEA to take him down. So it is actually helping to get that fight in line. Locked down by the solar flare. BRTT is trying to clear the sun out of his eyes as Mako picks up that kill. And now Diu's the one. He's gonna get that stun at daybreak coming in if Mako gets the other shot. Either last hit's gonna come through with that bond from Uzi and Mako. A little bit of a minion hit there. Didn't have a paddle star to make it work. Chain X. Is there another chain? There's the barrier that comes out, and it's gonna be the hit from CA with the sigil that silences Khan. But it never stops. Does it stop, though? Calling in the Forge God. He's gonna get a quick searing hit onto Vert. Will he throw down the Volcanic Rupture to get a little bit more damage? And Revolta gets taken down immediately. MLXG is everywhere. His rip is the spicy hot pot. A double kill as he goes from mid to top. I had a suspicion that this might be the game, but here we go. Solar Flare just misses, but the Zenith Blade does not. True on that E-Fire coming in from Mako, and he gets the Flash as well out of D. be just as active as Emma and she on the you trying to get wards. Remember, his Flash was just blown on the previous play and warding alone. Danger. Hey, you have priorities. Sometimes one sit above others. That was obviously a priority for MLXG. He's had a lot this game, and it's been on every lane so far. The grab going in to get MLXG. Fate's Call only works one way. And that's going to be on to the support if they need it. Mako's going to keep himself safe here. They still get out as Uzi's Ubi, able to deliver turret damage and damage. This dude's just, he's just trying to do his job. He's trying to make the picks where he can. He thinks he gets a good target, but unfortunately, it's a it's a 7K gold difference between these teams at 14 minutes and Ooh. possibly worse. Blinks back and forth. That's the thing. Whatever ability still kind of sticks onto Zoe. So when she gets back, you'll still be there. And that's what happened. They also get the kills on the top side still. 957 going to be the first under the turret. Oops, MLXG got his toes under just. It is interesting to me is that they're not playing CA out into a side lane. They've uh, they had him out there briefly, but otherwise he's kind of been sitting next to MLXG. And by not doing that, they force themselves to skirmishes like this. Okay, Mako. They didn't really have to hit the CC revolt that gets taken down immediately. His the LeBlanc. Uh, China isn't having the best lane assignments, but it's working out for them because Brazil are walking into these traps. Very good point. Searing charge? Yeah, searing charge. Bops him out quickly. You can see the cooldown coming a little bit quicker for him there, but he is going to have to make a long walk back. <laughs> They're getting real aggressive now. He's still chasing. Here comes Orn. What is this saying? What, you're 50 yards behind me? That's close enough. I'm going in. Mako hits the Zenith Blade. The rest of the team is going to be following up as BRTT goes down. It just feels really bad when you don't see a champion on the screen, but then he gets to have such an <laughs> impact in the fight as here we go. Ooh, MLXG to the back line. They were thinking everybody was in front of them. What, what else can the LPL throw at them? The Yona Ultimate comes down from the sky, blinds everyone. <laughs> They're diving Nexus Towers. They got the gods, they got the sun, and they have the Void Bug. 
704 Void Bug at that. Uzi looking to get, get a little crazy, gets himself the safety. Revolta waiting for the kick, but Uzi's gonna flash over the wall as Shie comes in to stop BRTT's follow-up damage as well. 957 on the other side, but that was a wham bam and thank you, ma'am, damage from CA as he takes down BRTT. Wanna see a magic trick? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh no. China saying, do you want to play a game right now? Oh, flying in, tries to get one last hit, but it becomes the pin cushion in the air. 21 to two here, looking for the final touches. 957's making a new home inside the base, and he's gonna throw out the forge god. That hits Zoe right in the face. Kami's up, Kami's down, and more kills coming up here as they're slowly taking on inhibitor and inhibitor turrets, but slowly taking down, even slower, the champions as they wrangle Brazil together to make that happen. A few hits, the bubble over the wall. From behind, Zoe, doesn't feel great. Not from, not great at all. The paddle star is not hitting, they're not finding the focus. And we'll see over the wall, Baron is taken by MLXG. The Forge God doesn't even get a chance to knock anybody up as Revolta goes down very fast. 957's not even taking that much damage. I feel like we're in a race now. LPL saw LCK defeat Turkey in 25 minutes. We're now 23 very minutes. True. You've got two minutes left, guys. Looking to make it undefeated as well, all the way through a three and zero here. If they can lock down this victory and they are pushing Brazil onto their fountain. It's the only solace they can find at this point. China coming out very strong here. The Orn pick, the LeBlanc pick, pick against Kami's Zoe coming into this game and they were able to shut down just about every lane. A big name in this one, MLXG, as they put the final touches here on to the Nexus. China taking down Brazil, a three and zero finished and a zero and three finish as the Nexus falls. And I doubt we're gonna see Orn make it through the champion select. 957 has shown everyone that yes, I am very comfortable <laughs> on this champion. And yes, he's still broken.